All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you get a chance, please like, share, and subscribe. That helps me out. Um, I got a good video for you today. Uh, for those of you who uh, need to build boost on the line, whether it's turbo or centrifugal supercharger or whatever the case may be, um, and you don't want to completely bump in, uh, I have plans here. I'm going to show you how to make a uh, uh, basically a, a DIY uh, bump box or creep box, whatever you call it, so you can just inch your way into the beams once you're fully staged up and ready ready to go so first i'll show you the parts that are needed um, i have a wiring diagram it's super simple and i can show you what mine looks like in the car um, and be honest i did it as quick and half butted i don't want to say the word because youtube gets pissed but um it, i did it very quickly and, and simply and it might not be beautiful but i've had it in my car for a couple years it works great so anyways without further ado this is going to be the first part you're going to need, this pulse width uh, modulation adjuster, etc, etc. If you type that into eBay, you can find it. You can find them at different prices. Um, the, the one that I'm going to show you that's fully built, I paid under um, under $10 for everything, including the relay. Um, the parts I'm going to show you are listed slightly more expensive than uh, what I paid for them, but shop around. You know, you're not obligated to buy from this seller. I have no idea who that is. Uh, I don't get any kickbacks for for bringing this up. So anyways, this is one of the, the chips you're gonna need. This is gonna be the second one. Item looks just like that. Bring up the picture, maybe. Very, very simple. Let me uh, close that and go back so you can see the name of it. Uh, 12 volt, one channel module with a bunch of words I probably can't pronounce correctly correctly so anyways this is also another six dollar part so at this point you're about uh, thirteen dollars into it <clears throat> and then the third piece you're going to need is just a solid state relay you can get those for under five dollars um like i said the first time i built this i spent a total of ten dollars on the three main pieces um again i just brought these up i don't know who these sellers are uh, i'm sure you can find better prices uh, but it's entirely up to you. I mean, maybe you're not an eBay person, maybe you're an Amazon person. Go ahead and shop on Amazon. I'm sure they sell the same stuff. So anyways, let's jump in the car here. Uh, so this is what it looks like fully assembled. Again, I told you it was gonna look like a mess. Uh, disregard the, uh, the, uh, the hot glue on there. Everything is soldered together. Uh, the hot glue is just to keep it from being abused. Um, this is not the first car that this module has been in. I used it in another car. It worked great for a couple years. This car is brand new. It's actually been in this car um, for six months or so. Again, absolutely no problems with it. So I can show you how it works. Essentially, if I turn on the main power, you have uh, options for uh, duration as well as the duty cycle that the, uh, the pulse width modulation is done at. Um, very programmable you can make it where one push the button cause you to bump in the full six inches um or you can uh have it where you oops you don't want to click it i'm hitting the pump hit my bump button i'm like why is it malfunctioning right now uh i'm sitting on the bump button button anyways so you can either have it jump six inches on one push the button or you can have it slowly creep in where it takes you know half a second to move six inches it's entirely up to you as, as far as how you do the adjustment let me see it's this top plate, I just Velcroed it on there so you can move that out of the way. Yeah. So this little red light that you're going to see right there. So anytime that red light is on, the uh, the circuit is closed and the trans brake uh, is active. So essentially what you do is you would hit your trans brake, you would spool up the turbos, uh, and then when you're ready to actually bump in from pre-stage uh, up to the stage beam, you obviously would just hit your, your button. I'm going to try to do this since it takes one hand to hold the camera actually let me see if I can hit the there you go so when I hit the bump button obviously in this case I'm not holding the trans brake down because uh, I don't have enough hands I'm holding the camera uh, with my right hand hitting my bump button on the left hand um, so under normal circumstances you'd hold the trans brake down and I don't know if the video is hearing it or not but you can hear the the relay clicking it's, it's activating um, and then to break um, the beam See, that normally would stay on. Again, if I had another hand, I just don't have it. Um, while still holding the trans brake, you'd hit your bump. And you can see as it's flickering, I'm just going to hold it. Obviously, you wouldn't creep for this long. But uh, as it's flickering, that is rapidly cycling 
my uh, my trans brake solenoid on and off. Now, obviously, the car's not running. I'm not on the trans brake, so I'm not moving forward. Uh, the transmission's in park, but um, essentially, you pull up to your pre-stage, get on the trans brake, rev it up. When you're ready to bump in, let's see if I can do it all with one hand, two hands. All right, there you go. Oh. You're bumped in, you're ready to bump in, little bump, maybe a little more. And as you can see, every time I let off of the bump, but, bump button, that light goes solid red. That's because uh, the trans brake is still active. So I'm going to show you again. You know, pull up your pre stage, hit your trans brake, spool up the motor, you're ready to bump in, let go, light turns green, off the button, and you're gone. Um, it's that simple. Um, like I said, $10 invested into this thing. I'm going to put this back where it belongs. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find it for the exact same price uh, that I originally paid for it. Uh, but like I said, shop around. Uh, it can be found for cheaper than the prices I showed you. Let me grab the wiring diagram. I should have it floating around here somewhere. I think it's on the top of my toolbox. Is this it or is this for a different diagram? Nope, this is it. So, I know it is a uh, kind of a mess. So here we go. This is how it gets wired up. Exactly how it is. Obviously the pulse width modulation is the one on the top. The other uh, one channel relay deal, he's down here. And this is everything. So if you want to build your own bump box for maybe $15 or less, this is the way to go. Uh, I do know that there are products like this out on the market. Um, they work fantastic. I'm not going to badmouth them for one second. Um, Davis sells one. I think Pulse, Pulse Lease sells one. I'm sure there's others. Uh, I know I think the, the Holly system, if you have Holly, it's built into it, so you can do that. Um, you know, but for those of you who don't have one of those systems and don't want to spend the hundreds of dollars to buy one of the standalone units, you can easily make uh, one for yourself um, for just a few dollars. You know, like I said, $15 or under, depending on what prices you pay for those parts. So, Anyways, I hope this helps you guys out, saves you some money. Um, like I said, I've had mine in the car for, I've been using it for years. This is the second car that it's been in. Um, it, it works fantastic. I see no reason why I should go out and spend hundreds of dollars when I can spend 10 bucks and get multiple years worth of use out of it. So hope you guys like this video. Um, like I said, subscribe if you like. Um, stay tuned. I can try to get more how-to videos and things like that up on uh, my channel. So maybe be able to save you guys some more money in the future. But anyways... Hope you like this video and I'll see you for the next one.